Hi, this is Mike Brown with NASCA, and we're here today to talk a little bit about high tunnel setup uh, and provide perhaps some technical assistance for those folks who are going to set up a, a high tunnel of their own. What I'm going to tell you is not written in any uh, field office tech guide or anything like that. The first thing I want to talk about is orientation. If you're building a high tunnel, what direction should it, should it face? And I will tell you, in my opinion, a high tunnel should be oriented north and south. If I had a north end on my high tunnel, that I could put a solid end on that, on that end and I wouldn't be losing any sun because the sun's coming up in the east, coming across the southern sky during the day and setting in the west. Uh, so having that solid end on, on, the, on the north end has really provided some advantages. So let me show you what some of those are. So having a solid wall on the north end of, of our high tunnel has allowed us to do a few things. As you can see, I had some plywood that I, that I just sheeted the end of this thing uh, with. It gave me a, a good solid place to, to mount uh, electric that I ran in here and also, also water. Uh, on the outside of this wall, I also have a, a hose reel. Uh, which is very handy to, to have out here. It makes this end of the high tunnel more structurally solid. It allowed me to put the, a uh, entry door uh, in this. It made it real easy to put a, a roll down garage door in this end. It also allowed me to, to put an exhaust fan in here, that, which, helps, uh, which helps pull air out of here. And I've got that set. On a, on a thermostatic switch. So I really feel like this solid wall has allowed us to, to do some things that a, that a plastic wall wouldn't. One of the things that was important to me was to be able to get a tractor in each end of our high tunnel. We framed up a short piece of wall, covered it with plastic, uh, it's mounted on a couple of bolts through these posts on the side of the door uh, so that it can swing. We've got an eye hook um, in, in the ground inside that we just run a strap from the top of the door down to hold it open like this. At night, if we want to close this, we just let the door swing back down and these bolts are above center so the door will swing back down level. And then I also have pins inside that will lock that, that door shut. Okay, uh, but that was important to us to be able to get a tractor in each end and it just makes it easier when you're changing your rows out between seasons. Another thing I'll recommend is when you buy your high tunnel, make sure you're buying a commercial grade uh, unit. We went with, with supports on, on every arch, not, a, not every kit will come like that. Uh, but I think it's important. Like I said, this unit has been here seven years and it has withstood some amazing storms. The recommendation here is go with a good commercial grade uh, hardware package. Another tip I'm gonna give you is, is about putting your plastic on. It's important to get your plastic very tight. You hear all the time that, that the plastic on these things is good for two to three years. Uh, I, this plastic has been on here for seven years. The reason we were able to get so much time out of this sheet of plastic is because we got it on really tight to begin with. And the way we did that is we started at the, at the far end, after we had the ends done, started at the far end and clipped the plastic on around that, that far arch for the top. Then we came down to to the opposite end. And before we clipped that plastic on, we rolled that extra plastic up with PVC pipe to give us a handle to really pull that stuff tight before we put the clips on to, to hold it in place. Um, so that, that's my next tip is get that plastic good and tight and it will so serve you well through the years. One more thing that, 
that uh, might be helpful to you is these corner panels that, that we put in. We put these corner panels of plastic on the inside, and these are just separate sheets of plastic, um, but this keeps wind from blowing in the corners, uh, or at least cuts it down dramatically. This is your wiggle wire track that where the wiggle wire holds it in place on the outside. And from there down, it becomes your roll up plastic. What a lot of people don't realize is you can also use this track on the inside to put wiggle wire to hold, hold this panel in place. And so putting a four foot section of plastic on the inside that stays stationary in each of the four corners really helps reduce wind damage to your high tunnel. This is shade cloth. I highly recommend when you order all the, all the uh, materials to build your high tunnel, go ahead and order shade cloth to, to cover the top. We put shade cloth over our, over our high tunnel uh, normally in, in June, and we're the mid-Atlantic region. Uh, sometime in June, we'll put this on and we'll take it off sometime in September. It helps you regulate those, those high summertime temperatures. Uh, so again, highly recommend that you order shade, shade cloth when you order the materials for your high tunnel. So those are some things we learned while, while building our high tunnel. Uh, we kind of learned through trial and error and, and, and my wife did a ton of research going into it. We got lucky on, on some things and mother, mother nature helped force us to make some decisions, uh, but it all worked out pretty well. I hope some of these tips will help you as you plan uh, to build your high tunnel and best of luck with it in the future. Thanks so much.